Hey everyone, Jerry O'Toole from Under 30 CEO here. I'm with Matthew Corrin of Freshy, and it's uh, the new store is opening here in New York City today. It's fresh food, custom built. And Matt, could you tell us a little bit about um, how Freshy got started and what it is? Sure, yeah. So I was actually living in New York, working a block away from this location at 39th and Broadway. And I was lining up at all these mom-pop delis that are ubiquitous in the city. And while the quality of the food was great, the service was really good, the branding was lackluster, so I thought, you could take this commodity fresh produce and create this incredible brand around it. Could you start by the fresh food business? And that was the impetus, really. And how old were you when you started it? Uh, I was I was 22. 22, yeah. wow. And now you're 29? 29, yeah. 29. And there's how many stores do you have up and running right now? So we'll be at 60 locations by the end of this year. 60 locations. And uh, I think we'll very likely double that in 2011. Wow. So how did you go from PR business into the restaurant business? Uh, you know, it was more about going into something entrepreneurial and, uh, and a consumer-focused brand, uh, which, which are, are my passions. I think in hindsight, I didn't realize how challenging the restaurant business is. You know, the restaurant business is interesting. It's not rocket science, but there's thousands of little things that have to go right every day. Right. Uh, and and the, the variable in the restaurant business relative to other retail brands is this perishability. So if you don't sell a pair of blue jeans, you can discount them and sell them a year later. In the restaurant business, if you don't sell you know, lettuce or rice or a wrap, you're throwing it out. Right. No, that makes a lot of sense. So what do you think, like, Freshy obviously is doing great and it took off fairly quickly in, in the early days. What um, were some of the keys to that fast growth and just success, especially transitioning into a whole new industry? Well, so I had never worked a day in the restaurant business before I founded Freshy. So my first rule of thumb was I, I worked in the store for eight months and learned every aspect of it. So nobody could tell me that I didn't know my own business. Uh, so that was the first thing. You know, I think I think the, the simple math is, is hard work, execution every day. Uh, you know, luck, uh, generating buzz, surrounding yourself with a good team. Those are all probably some of the key characteristics to what's allowed for our type of growth. Definitely. So you have over 300 stores in development right now. We have over 400 under development. Over, over 400 in development. In 25 cities. And a family. I've got a two and a half year old daughter and another one on the way. Oh yeah. wow, congratulations yeah. for that. Thanks. And um, what is your average day like? I mean, you're in New York today, probably another city next week. I mean, yeah, so what is I, it like? I, um, our, our daughter was born in Chicago. We were living in Chicago, and we moved back to our hometown in Toronto because of my travel schedule. Because the personal side, the personal side of life is, you know, well. it's, it's tough. So you, you know, I want to surround them with family support. But I'm on the road about four days a week, uh, and any given day I'm in, you know, or any given week I'm in two different cities. We're opening literally uh, no less than a store a week for the next six months. So this week I'm in New York. Next week we open Nashville and Houston. Uh, I'm going to both of those openings. The week after San Francisco. The week after we open uh, our first of five Vienna locations. Uh, we're opening five stores in Vienna over two weeks. So the other day. Wow. And then we go back to LA and open LA again, and uh, Philadelphia, and then Virginia, and uh, and it kind of goes on from there. That takes us to to the end of. Any November. time management yeah. tips? <laughs> you know. Uh, First flight out, last flight out, like last flight back is uh, is something that I subscribe to. Definitely. So if you had one piece of advice to give to young entrepreneurs today, what would it be? You know, I think uh, I think execution sets one apart. So my my saying is, talk is cheap. Execution sets you apart. Definitely. And I think uh, there's a lot of people who talk about you know being entrepreneurs talk about creating their own business or creating their own brand. And I think as I said, talk is cheap, and half the battle is just doing. Great. Yeah. No, I think that's great, Matt. And, uh, well, thanks a lot for taking the time to yeah, do this interview today. Matthew Corin of Freshy. And we're in New York City right now, Broadway and 39th. Come check it out. And, of course, check him out doing a lot of cool things, a young entrepreneur. Thanks a lot for being here. Thanks, man.